Yes. Don't treat yourself. Treat yourself. Listen, I'm about to treat myself because I'm going to ask for ice on the side so I can pour my liquor in it, girl. Hey. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. so sick and then I remember I vlogged for y'all and told y'all I was feeling better but then I got sick again and I was just feeling so bad so it just was so much y'all but this is not a sad vlog this is a happy vlog because I'm celebrating my 30th birthday tomorrow your girl getting old <laughs> as y'all saw I just did my devotional I tried to um some days I do miss with doing my devotional if I have like so much going on with the kids. But today their dad took them to daycare and I'm off work today. I took off yesterday and today. So I have like a four, four day weekend. Mm -hmm. So today is my birthday dinner. But before we even do that, y'all. Oh my goodness, like I'm trying, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to not get overwhelmed because it's so much that I have to do that I tend to get overwhelmed. If you see me looking down, looking at my phone, but first and foremost, I got a Fashion Nova package for my outfits for this weekend, which I need to try on with y'all. I love y'all down, baby. So I waited until I picked up the camera to open it. Um, luckily, I waited to the last minute to order anything. I ordered this Wednesday and just so happened Wednesday they was having like free overnight shipping. So I got my stuff yesterday, which was perfect. Ordered Wednesday, got here Thursday. No problems. Nada. I went and got my hair done yesterday, which I'm going to show y'all that. Also, I drove to Richmond to get my hair done. So that was like a, a hour and some change drive. And, um... I love my hair. I just have to figure out how to put it in a bun because I've never had this hair before. It's called tribal braids, but yeah. And then I got my feet done, y'all, which I believe I'm a, I took a couple of clips. to this new place and y'all when i tell y'all i'm in love i am in love how they did my toes now the toe that's been messed up is still you know what i'm saying but this i feel like this is the best that it's gonna get right now with how it look but they did so good so i'm gonna show y'all that also but other than that so i have to show y'all my office we have to try them on together and hope that they fit because if they don't fit <laughs> And then I have a nail appointment at 9.15. It's currently 8.27. My nail um, lady is literally maybe like seven minutes, if that. Then after that, I have to find some new concealer because if you ever paid attention to me doing my makeup, I always use one concealer and then I use another one on top. The one that I use on top is like a lighter concealer, um, but I ran out of it. So I want to go to... 
And I'm mad because I always get the mini size because there's no point in me getting the big size because I only use a little bit. So it will literally, y'all, that, that would expire on me because this little tube, I've had it for a long time. Uh, and you know, makeup only lasts for so long. So I really wasn't trying to buy the big tube. However, the mini size is sold out. I don't even know if they make it anymore, y'all, because it's been sold out for a while. And, um... But I'm going to go to Target because, you know, they have an Ulta in Target and see if I can find a concealer there that will work for me. I also need to get some lashes on my eyeballs. So I need to get some lashes for that. And then I need to pack up the twin stuff, y'all, because let me tell y'all, these babies, <laughs> they going to their grandmas starting today once they get out of daycare. And I'm picking them up Sunday at bedtime. OK, I wanted her to keep them until Monday morning, but she wasn't able to do that. So I said, well, mother, I can come get them Sunday at eight o'clock. <laughs> Their bedtime is 8.30, so by the time I get home, they should be sleeping. So then my birthday dinner is at this place called The Porch on Long Creek at seven o'clock. I'm so excited, you guys, because y'all probably don't know this about me because I never expressed it, but I have a fascination with sunsets. I love sunsets. My boyfriend sent me, he goes over a bridge often and it's always a sunset. He, and he also used to work overnight so when he would get home like when he would be leaving work he will always send me a sunset in the morning so i'm fascinated with sunsets so this place that i'm going to is actually um so we're outside and we're on the water and you can see the sunset and the boats and it's just gonna be so i'm so excited i can cry right now because i'm just i've been looking forward to this so then we going out tonight honey and then tomorrow we gonna get to tomorrow when we get to it, but let's get through today. Okay, it's 8.33 and I need to try on these clothes. Let's go. Okay, I'm in the office room now. Matter of fact, let me put it over here. I'm out of breath, y'all. I got a new tripod also too, y'all, cause I need a sturdy one after my fall. And y'all, let me tell y'all the other day, so I have my camera. Hold on, I'm out of breath. So I have my camera in the office room just sitting like on, which y'all sitting on now? And just be sitting on that and the other day the kids was downstairs and i heard my son my eight-year-old i heard him say i heard him say khalil put the camera down before you break it so i was like camera <laughs> downstairs like what's going on here y'all he had my camera downstairs just throwing it around so by the grace of god he did not break it because y'all y'all know i would have been pissed as pissed as I was. Okay, y'all. All right. So first and foremost, we're going to try on my outfit that I plan on wearing tonight for dinner. I got a medium in this. Ooh, it already looked like it fit loose up top. Uh, I don't know, y'all. Probably if I was, if I had gotten it um, altered, but yeah. So this is the dinner outfit. Can y'all even see it? 
Let me show you all in the mirror. So this is the dinner outfit. Y'all still can't even really see it. This light in here is horrible. This is the dinner outfit, y'all. Okay, you guys. So this is my night outfit for tonight. I got this jumpsuit from Fashion Nova. It's called a snatch jumpsuit, which of course I still have a good because I have a good, but I feel like it's doing a good job with concealing, especially since I can't wear a girdle with this. And y'all know how I am about my girdle. Let me go get my heels. So this is one of the pair of heels that I had got from Nordstrom Rack when I had went. Um, I think I showed y'all, but I never end up wearing them. I was gonna take them back, honey, but I'm glad I didn't because it came out to work with this outfit. I don't know why my damn computer is making all that noise. Like, shut up. Oh yeah, this is cute. This is cute. I like this. I hope I don't have to keep doing this though. But I like it. This is cute. It's sexy. I got rose in the back, but who cares, baby? Okay. This is how my feet look, y'all. Now let me. Ooh. This is how my feet looks. Now let me go over to you why I like it first, and I'm gonna tell you what I feel like is wrong with it. So, what I like about it is the shape. They did the shape perfect. Also, this base color right here, I asked her to find a color as close to my natural nail bed as possible. So this is actually a peachy color but it looks like a natural nail bed. And then I just got French tip. But you see this line right here? That's because my old acrylic that I put on this toe grew out. Um, My cuticles are dry right now, but yeah. And then this is the toe that was messed up. It's, it's The cuticles is dry, y'all. But y'all see right there? That's where my bruise was. So you can see my bruised toe and that's what I don't like. But it's really nothing that I could do about that because I didn't like the other base color. It made my toenails look white. And then y'all see this little white dot. That's because something with the acrylic. So she told me next time I come, just get a whole new set with the acrylic. And um, she also said that the place that I went to made the acrylic too thick. So she shaved it down to make it look like my natural toenail, which I feel like it does. Don't judge how my feet look too much right now because they are crusty, y'all. Like, I ain't put no lotion on them or nothing, no cuticle oil, nothing. But I just wanted to show y'all how it looked because somebody uh, sent me this place because their toenails always look good. And I really like it. So this is going to be my place because, yeah. Okay. Oh, and then I got to show y'all my hair. <sighs> Hold on. Okay, so this is my hair. I got it done yesterday. So I got like, uh, corn, uh, what are these, cornrows? I don't know. With braids like that in the front. And then curly, it's not list braids in the back and I added some curls in it. So I really like it. So for dinner tonight, what I'm thinking about is putting my hair in a bun. But yeah, it's cute. But I gotta go y'all, cause my nail appointment is literally in 15 minutes and I'm booty ball naked.
love my nails, first of all, okay? I don't even, I might have to wait to show y'all. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait to show y'all when I get in the dig on house because it's too bright. Um, so you won't be able to see like the details of it, but I love my nails. Now I am about to go to Target because remember I told y'all that I needed to get some concealer. I also want to get that stuff for my feet again. These people next to me is all in my face. Like I could feel a hole. When I just turned around, I seen them staring at me. But y'all should be proud of me because I'm still carrying on the conversation even with them staring. Because usually I would have just not talked until I peeled it off. But anyway, I'm about to go to Target to get the concealer. I need to get some stuff. Y'all see me do like the feet mask last time. I want to do that again um because they back crusty and i went to go i told y'all i went to go get a pedicure yesterday but they took so long did i tell y'all that because i'll be thinking i'll be telling y'all something then i don't if i did i'm gonna edit it out i went to go get a pedicure yesterday oh yeah i did i don't know i went to go get a pedicure yesterday and they took so long to get me in the well they took a while to get me in the chair then once they got me in the chair they had me my feet sitting in the water for a long time just in, and the water wasn't even hot hot like i wanted it was like cool mm -mm. but so by the time she got to me to actually do my pedicure i told her i said don't worry about doing a pedicure just i need a polish change because i had to go to richmond to get my hair done and it was traffic it was saying that i was going to get to my hair appointment at like at that time it said like uh 2 30 and that was when she was still doing the french tip i ended up making it to my appointment at 2 40 so I, my appointment was at 2 30 so i was 10 minutes late um okay i'm hungry i was starving in there i felt so nauseous but I just told myself, like, you better just get through the nauseous part. Because, you know, once you get through that part, then you good. That's all it is for me. Like, I just got to get through that part. But I do need to get some food. Y'all, let me tell y'all what happened to me yesterday. I ordered some dig on Uber Eats, right? I ordered some Uber Eats last night. Now, I was so hungry. I went to go get my hair done, and I didn't even eat on the way back. Me and my son, we did stop and get some quick mcdonald's but that food was disgusting um so i was hungry so when i got home i was like all right let me just order some food i told y'all earlier the twins want to sleep with us so the twins was in the bed so the lights was off tv off everything off to try to get them to fall asleep so i ended up falling asleep while my food was on the way so then my son called me and was like mom did you order some food Oh, I need to take my camera. I, I gotta hurry up, y'all, because it's hot as H-E-L. Hot as devil balls outside, and my camera is feeling hot. He was like, Mom, did you order some food? Because I see somebody at the door. So I was like, yeah. So I got the food. First of all, she gave a Sonic. I didn't even realize it, but she gave a Sonic bag. So then she called back and was like, hey, I gave y'all the wrong food. I gave y'all a Sonic bag. I should have been giving y'all this Chipotle bag. So, I got the Chipotle bag. I see that there was no chips. A big ass, first of all, this is what pissed me off. And the only reason why I ordered all this is because I had a coupon on Uber Eats. I ordered a burrito, chips with a small queso, and then I also ordered a big queso because I like to dip my burrito inside of it and when i be ordering like the small queso the 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 dead on cup is already small and they don't even fill it up so i order a large queso also i get my food it's only a burrito in the large queso where are my chips so i call her back and she was like oh they didn't give me no chips nor did they give her some queso like the small one so i said okay so I just let Uber Eats know I didn't get my chips and queso because that was like $5 and some change. They refunded me for that. Y'all tell me why. Let me tell y'all what I ordered on my burrito first and I'm gonna tell you what was up there. I got chicken, brown rice, no beans, salsa, like the tomato, uh, what well, pico de gallo, um, queso, lettuce, and sh shredded cheese. And I got it double wrapped. This thing came well one it was one wrap so one tortilla so it was falling apart it came with white rice black beans and sour cream that's it white rice black beans and sour cream that is it 
talk about piss y'all i contacted uber eats so fast and they refunded me my money but they still took her tip which i'm kind of mad about because and not only that they didn't refund me for the big thing of queso because i got it i did get it but what i'm gonna eat a whole thing of queso i ain't even, i can't even eat the burrito to dip it in so i end up throwing the queso away i don't know it's not her fault but also the food was cold and you know what i'm saying i'm not one to like give delivery drivers a problem because i have done uber eats and doordash so i know how it is like most of the time especially ever since covid have the food to where you can't open it and verify if it you know is what it's supposed to be however if you knew that you were supposed to get chips which she knew because with uber eats you do have to mark what you're getting if you knew that she was getting chips you knew it won't no chips in there you knew it won't no chips in there it's it, she knew it was no chips in there but i understand with the burrito you didn't know but it was so cold y'all it was so cold like so that i just was so irritated i don't i went on a whole tangent about my food y'all but let me tell you when it comes to my food when it comes to my food especially if i'm hungry oh baby listen everybody duck down because i'm about to Never mind. Let's go to Target. So y'all, I swatched all of these. Now the third, I'm shaking, Lord, because I'm hungry. The third one down is what I was trying to match it to. Um, the other concealers, but none of them match. So we're gonna have to go a different route. Um, I'm thinking that I'm just going to. What I'm gonna do is get a concealer brush and just scrape the tube but in the meantime I need some mascara and lashes lashes y'all y'all was gonna let me forget the lashes so I'm gonna get one of these this is better than sex waterproof and this is just regular I think I'm gonna just get the regular well that target's trip that target trip was a dub let me show y'all what i got right quick for my bag on camera overheat so i got these lashes these are you know what i'm gonna show y'all when i get home tell me if y'all feel this way too because even when i'm watching other vloggers i feel this way honestly i don't like when they be out and about all the time because I like that more intimate type vibe. So like when they showing a haul or something, I love when they're at home showing it. I need to get something to eat though, cause I am starving. Okay y'all, I'm parked and I'm about to eat my food right quick. But I wanted to talk to y'all. Mm -hmm. Firstly, because I owe y'all an apology for real. Oh my goodness, I didn't ask for mayo. Daggot. I owe y'all an apology, y'all, because I have not uploaded in so long and I have not been consistent at all. And the reason, if you don't like when people talk when they eat, I just can pass because y'all, I'm about to eat this food. Um, so originally, when I started my YouTube, which the videos are down now, so you can't even see that. But I started it to, because I was into makeup. And I was like, oh, I'm going to be like the beauty gurus and just get up here and do makeup. Because I like watching them. I like watching Jackie Ina, Tierra Walker. Um, yeah, and it was it was easy for me to do the makeup. So you know how some people struggle with their makeup? I never struggled. Of course, it was a learning process, but from the first time that I actually sat down and bought all of the items that you need, like setting powder, setting spray, concealer, bronzer, like my makeup looked good from the first time I did it. I'm going to put up a picture if I can find it. And immediately I was like, oh, I can make some money from this. And 
So I started doing videos that was like a revolved around makeup, teaching you how to do different looks, yada yada yada, giving you a like a Sephora haul, stuff like that. So then once I got pregnant with the twins, I transitioned more into lifestyle content because for one, I didn't enjoy doing makeup like I used to. Like I used to do eyeshadow and everything. I haven't did eyeshadow in so long. Other than putting bronzer on my eyes, I have not did eyeshadow like an eyeshadow look in so long. So I just got bored with it. It was fun in the beginning, and but I got bored with it. Like people used to book me for me to do their makeup, but I even stopped doing that because it wasn't my passion. And I feel like that's so important for people to realize that just because you're good at something doesn't mean that that's your passion and what you should be doing. So, yeah, I'm good at doing my makeup. I'm doing my own makeup for my birthday, you know what I'm saying? Which I'm so grateful for, but I just don't want to do it as a career. So then I transitioned to lifestyle content, and I felt like more so my passion was showing other moms that you can still have a life outside of being a mom because i feel like people always feel like once you're a mom your life is over and you don't have a sense of identity you can't dress a certain way talk a certain way do certain things like it's like they feel like you shouldn't do these things now that you're a mom which i don't understand because i'm like do y'all know what we was doing to become a mama so I get that you should watch what you're doing in front of your kids yes but people feel like that at all times if you're a mom you should display yourself in a certain way and I never believed that I just was like I'm gonna do me how I want to do me and just do what I want to do and as I transition and mature naturally what you like and what you don't like and what you wear and what you don't wear and what you like places you frequent it's gonna change but I never wanted that to change on the account of just because I'm a mom, you know? So that was the whole reason of me doing more lifestyle content and trying to show other people that yes, I'm a mom of four, but I'ma still be out here getting my hair done, getting my nails done, and getting my nails done how I want to. I didn't want no mom nails. I don't want short nails, you know what I'm saying? I want my nails done how I want them done. So that was my reason for creating more lifestyle content however i feel like nowadays i feel like i hit a roadblock because it's hard it's hard working a nine to five taking care of kids multiple kids trying to lose weight go to the gym eat right um trying to work on your mental health trying to keep up with getting your hair done and your nails done and yada 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 trying to keep a house in order still trying to feed you know um pour into your relationship you know and realizing that you're you're you have things that you have to heal and change and so all of these things that go on outside of me just creating content it just got overwhelming it just got overwhelming but the thing that I do not like about myself is that I let things get overwhelming and then I just, like, I lack discipline. So for the longest when it came down to my channel, I had all of these ideas, y'all. I told y'all that I was going to create a different channel for the twins, which I did create it, but I have not uploaded a video. Then I created a different channel for my podcast. You know what I'm saying? I wanted, I have all of these ideas in my head. But it's so many things that's stopping me from moving forward. One, fear. Fear of the unknown of like, okay, I'm putting all of this energy into these things. What is coming from it? Because at the end of the day, y'all, I'm not just doing this to, for money. Like, if I was just doing this for money, I would have quit a long time ago. I've been doing this for years. I just got monetized, what, two years ago? And even though I'm monetized, I'm still not making a check to where I can live off of this. So it's like all of the time and energy and things like that that I put into my content, like, you know, I start to get discouraged because I'm like, okay, Yvette, like you've been doing this for so long, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I want to get better with my content. I want to do different things, be more creative, get different angles. Like, I just want to be better just all around. But I feel like wanting to be better and then still trying to do a million other things in my personal life you know what i'm saying it's hard 
it's hard y'all um but i also had to come to the realization that you have to get to the point where you stop making excuses because at first i felt like that i really couldn't film content in my old apartment that i lived in because it was too cramped i turned my dining room into a filming space and we ate on the couch or in our rooms and then I, at that time i was also working at my same job but i was on the phones so i couldn't really i didn't have a flexible schedule so now everything has changed i have a schedule to where i don't have a set schedule like i mean i have a schedule to where like yes people expect me to be online at these certain times but if i need to leave work for whatever reason whether it's a doctor's appointment to go to the store i have the flexibility to do that i can take off work whenever i want to take off work i don't have to be stuck to a computer i have a really i'm blessed with my job that i have because a lot of the times people don't even know i work did y'all know i work <laughs> so it's just like i'm very grateful for that and then i moved into the house we're into a house i have my own filming room you know what i'm saying it's not uh, where i had to uh put it in the living room and tell the kids to be quiet and stuff like that i have my own filming room so it's like what is stopping you now yvette and i feel like y'all my dad gonna phone overheated but it's to the point now it's like what is stopping you now you have the ability to have room where you can film and you know now it's a little different because at first like i said i was doing makeup so i had to be in one space now i'm doing lifestyle content to where i can kind of move around at my free will um so it's like really no excuse for me not being consistent so that's why i owe you guys an apology i know people might be like you don't owe us an apology you got kids da, da, da. yes but one thing i hate is that when it's somebody that i love their content yeah i expect you to is you're not going to be on schedule all the time but i definitely appreciate the ones where i know i know they're going to upload today i know their content is going to be good i know what to expect so that's why it's like i want my supporters to have an expectation of me that i don't let them down when it comes to that and if there is ever a situation to where Oh, I'm not going to be uploading. I'll let y'all know. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not taking long breaks. So, that's where I'm at with that, you guys. Like, I'm just really, you know, now that I'm 30, I feel like I'm going through all of the emotions. Because I'm just like, I feel like my life is so backwards. I feel like in my 20s, I spent all, not even in, just in my 20s. Like, if you're new here, I've been a mom since I was 17. Got pregnant at 16. So, all of my pivotal years which it, these this is still my pivotal year also but like turning 18 turning 21 all of my 20s i've been a mom and still trying to figure out life and now i'm about to be 30 and i feel like i know what i want and that might change like you never know but i i feel like i know what i want i know what goals i see for myself and it's all about getting out there and doing it now you know because even though i do have a lot on my plate it's possible and how can i try to show other people that it's possible and i'm not even doing it myself so i say all of that to say you guys like from this point forward and i really mean it because i know i have said this before from this point forward be in expectation of me to be consistent if something is going on in my life i will let you all know be in expectation for my content to be good and you can see that i actually put effort into my content not just oh i just cut stuff out sped up this clip put a little music over it you know what i'm saying because one thing i love about myself i have a very creative mind it's a lot of things that i be thinking that i don't do because i'll forget or i don't have time or yada like even when i got my nails done today I was upset that my phone went there and y'all couldn't see the full process because my phone was like on 40 something percent and then you know how it is when you filming like recording a video it drains your battery but it's no reason why my phone shouldn't have been on 100 percent because guess what you had an appointment at 9 15 that means you just woke up not too long ago why is your phone already on 43 percent 
just be in expectation of me to be better in all areas all areas y'all all areas and i appreciate whoever continues to support me and who supports me now I, my nose is running y'all because i had a spicy chicken sandwich hold on i appreciate everybody that comments on my videos i know who i can expect to comment i i love how y'all show up for me i love how y'all respond to my comments even though i might not have a whole bunch of comments but like i always say like i appreciate the ones that show up for me right now because guess what when the world finds out about event and you know be they be like oh i never knew that y'all are y'all been here and i promise i will never forget y'all like i would never forget that because y'all supporting me when i am definitely a micro influencer so i say all that to say y'all i love y'all so much thank you for continuing to be here even when i take my hiatuses but i am this point forward be an expectation for me to rock your world okay so i am finished eating now you guys i'm about to go into my appointment and then i need to go home and start getting ready for my birthday dinner i'm excited so let me show you right quick what i got from ulta so i ended up getting oyster girl now i liked how it looked on when i swatched it this is how it looks in the tube i liked how it looked when i swatched it i really was going back and forth with getting um if i should get a dig on lipstick or lip gloss but i'm like i'm gonna be eating so that's how it look we're gonna see how it look once i maybe i might layer it or whatever we're gonna see we're gonna figure it out all else fails clear lip gloss i got my feet i got my foot mask so i'm gonna put that on once i get out the shower and so I bought some Ariana Grande cloud perfume. I was smelling it when I was in Target and I do like the smell. They say that this is like a dupe for um, Baccarat, but when I smelled Baccarat, I really didn't care for it. Like I wasn't crazy about it, like people be crazy about it. But anywho, Baccarat I think is $300. I got the travel size of the Ariana Grande cloud. This was $26. Um, these are the lashes that I got. They're from Lily Lashes. They're the uh, style Posh. And then I got the Shape Tape from Ulta. The one that I, well, I, I told y'all that was out of stock. And um, Target. I just got this in my bag because this might be what I layer it with. My lip gloss. I don't know, honey. Ooh, that's kind of cute. It makes like a nudie color. We gonna see. We gonna see. We gonna see. We gonna see. Okay. Then I end up going to TJ Maxx, and that's where I found my jewelry from. Y'all look because I want to do like silver and gold. So look at this ring. Isn't that so cute? That is so cute. I like that. It's like butterflies, silver and gold from TJ Maxx. Also look like a diamonds tennis bracelet but and i like that it's a drawstring so yeah i got that and then the earrings i got were these because i like how it was a mixture of gold and the diamond and i'm just gonna wear my um i couldn't find a necklace and i don't want to wear this one because i feel like it's too casual so i'm going to wear the necklace that my dad got me for my birthday like two years ago so yeah, you guys, so I'm about to get in the shower. We're gonna get dressed. I gotta do my makeup. Whew. But we're gonna get this popping. It's 4.52. I'm gonna have to leave here no later than 5.45. Because I need to be leaving my mom's house at 6.30. I still gotta pack for the twins. But that shouldn't take long, y'all. Cause I already wrote down everything that they need and like, they're babies, you know what I'm saying? They gonna be in the house majority of the time. I highly doubt my home someone's around that car seat unless I go to work. Girl, you is not going nowhere. Cause baby, listen, I barely wanna go places. And you, and I have them all the time, they my kids. Y'all, when I tell y'all I'm stressed, you see how I look, right? And I'm on my way to my dinner, but I have to meet my boyfriend at my mother's house to drop the twins stuff off and then go to my dinner. 
y'all i am so stressed because i am definitely running late they already told me that they can't seat nobody unless everybody is there i already stressed to everybody else that i need y'all to be on time but the traffic coming from where i live at on fridays first of all it's always traffic but on fridays traffic is crazy let me come on let me get out of there you see i was waiting and then people lo they love to not let you out and then they don't want to look you in your face now nah, look me in my face and my and it took forever for me to do my lashes you guys like i was just i mean not my lashes my dad going um eyebrows i couldn't get them on like a how i wanted them to i definitely just turned on red and it said no turn on red but baby listen today we turn on red <laughs> okay um She moved out of state and shit doing left. She's seeking forgiveness. She used to dance, but she went alone. She started a business. Her daddy is not around. Her mama is not around. I watch her climb on the top of the pole. The thing is sliding down. I make it rain in this bitch. I make it snow in this bitch. She's trying to get out of the mix. Shawty is going to jail. Shawty is going to jail. Me, I'm supporting this shit. This is a story. Came for my life, and I'm supporting this shit. So don't, I know my rug dirty, but I came back home and changed. This is the bodysuit that I showed y'all earlier. That's the back. You see my rose, y'all. <laughs> I put my hair in a bun. All right, we about to head out and have some fun. Bye. He is a grandpa, y'all. He's tired. I'm ready to sleep. I ain't, I'm, every night this week. I don't say that, that, that. <laughs> it's my birthday. You know my birthday will come all year. I'm going to hear it. Early. Keep me up to 12 every night. What am I keeping you up, huh? Y'all can't see me because the light off, but I got on these daggone heels. And hopefully my feet don't start hurting. Because, baby, listen. Why my phone look like that? guys today is officially officially my 30th birthday i'm so happy y'all i'm just so like overwhelmed with gratitude just i'm just so grateful i'm just so grateful i'm grateful and you know what i feel like this is the first time that i have not been in expectation of anybody to give me anything i just am so grateful of everybody that's spending their time with me and yeah it's just i'm so grateful so i'm happy as y'all can see i'm already dressed and i did my makeup we're about to go to the taco festival i have on this um let me see if i can back up and show y'all i have on this romper piece that i got from target this is actually a workout piece but I'm wearing it out. This is how the back looks. Got like a crisscross situation in the back. Um, then I just put my watch on. Y'all know my JBW. I got this necklace that, yeah. <laughs> Some earrings and my rings and my nails. And we about to head out, okay? And of course, I'm bringing y'all with me. So come on. Hi, I came to redeem my free birthday drink. Hey! Hey, girl! Hi, girl! Okay. <laughs> right. I would like the biggest strawberry acai refresher. With some sweet cream cold foam? No, I just want lemonade. What? Yes! Don't treat yourself, treat yourself. <laughs> Listen, I'm about to treat myself because I'm going to ask for ice on the side so I can pour my liquor in it, girl! Hey. <laughs> Thank you. What's up, All right. What else can yeah. I get for you, darling? Let me see if my boyfriend wants something. You want something? Yeah, give me a. I want the biggest one. Just give me a gr grande. A, okay, he want a grande. A grande. The, uh, strawberry acai refresher. Okay. And he want the lemonade. 
Yes, with lemonade. And he wants the stuff you mentioned in the beginning, the cold foam. He wants the cold foam? Yeah. Okay. And that's it. All right, my dear. I'll see you at the window. I'll okay. take care of your birthday reward. See you here. <laughs> Thank you. You are very welcome. Yeah. Happy birthday, girl. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. You are very welcome. Thank you. And we need a scan. Oh, this is my first. What's this? A cake pop, right? Yep. This is my first one. Good. I'm glad. It's like a yeah, little cake. Uh, ah. All right, it'll be six seventy-five for the other. Drink. Thank you. I'm glad. How do you like it? I just bit some of the sprinkles. I ain't bite the whole thing yet. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Those are our birthday cakes. Who was good? Yeah, I like it. Good, good. good. Thank you. Plans right now? Yeah, we about to go to the taco festival. I was wondering about that. Yes, it's today. And it's tomorrow. What's tacos unlimited? Yeah, well you gotta so they have it to where you gotta buy a voucher and the voucher is twenty dollars and then you get five tacos and they got over twenty one different restaurants that you can get it from. Mm-hmm. They got a whole bunch of different events happening there, like you know, entertainment, drinks, you know. A whole bunch of fun. <laughs> I have fun for you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank You're you. welcome. Yes. Are you a cancer? Gemini. Oh. <laughs> well, you Everything you it went wrong on my birthday. Everything, even oh. my dog fell out the window. I'm what? Like, what that happened? I was just trying to take it to the park. That was free. <laughs> Lord. Like the dog, we holding the dog up and scraping. My husband's driving, singing a song. Don't even know the dog's out the window. Lord. With his legs like scraping, going like this. All of his toenails was riding off, girl. Was he crying or whimpering? <laughs> I wish he would have liked it. Right. Because you could have jumped out that damn window. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank you, you so yourself. much. Do not remember. I will not. Good. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Sorry for y'all being lump side. I'm in the car. I'm trying to prop it up because I'm in my boyfriend's car and he don't have to, uh, the mount. But. I got my shoulder acai. I'm gonna put a show. I'm about to put my breakfast on. It's kind of a big drink, so. I'm about to get my dad to take a shot with me. I'm gonna see if he do it because he he don't like to drink with me because he look at me as his little girl. But I'm 30, baby. I'm grown. Big girl. Big 30. Oh shit. Oh, 
Cheers. Daddy, you look like you dreading this. What? I'm 30. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> Lord. You done had some already, huh? No, I ain't still did that. Okay. What's that? It's good, ain't it? Mm -mm. Cause it's cold. She already not wet. Well, I like this bag. This is like a bag I bought. It is. It is. And you gave it back to me. Use bag. You gonna get it back to? Her? <laughs> if I? No, that don't save bags. Let Ma, you ain't have to put my mail in here. I put it in there so that you can get your mail. I got a card and my. You already knew about that. Uh huh. Straight out of no, he ain't no female. Oh, it's a female, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, wow. Daddy goes out, you know. Oh, I like this, too. What size is it? Daddy, please let's not start. But what size we need? Now, a 3X? Uh huh. Yeah, that's how I can wear it. I'm trying to find that front knee there. It's that. It's that. Let me read my card. Daughter, there are so many reasons to be proud of you. You're a dreamer and a doer. You're a dreamer and a doer with a creative spirit and the strength to face anything and everything life says your way with confidence and grace. Oh, I got some money! Oh wait, it's such a gift to celebrate your birthday because it represents another year of accomplishments, another year, another year of great memories, and most importantly, another year of you becoming the beautiful person you are meant to be. Happy B-Day, enjoy your day, love you mom. Happy birthday baby girl, daddy will always love you, Pookie Bear, the big 30. Thank you. Oh, I can't make them. I can't make, mess up my makeup. Oh, sure. <laughs> See, I know how to pick. I, I let Thank the cards get to say the words. I don't know how to write the words. <laughs> that was the perfect one. Mm -hmm. Thank you. When I saw that, I said, oh, that's perfect. Yes. <laughs> y'all, it started raining, but it's all good. And guess what? A rain don't stop nobody. <laughs> y'all, this humidity is crazy. This is a spicy chicken bacon ranch with no jalapeno. Let's see how this can taste. This one was good. I like this one.
my track record so clean They couldn't wait to just bash me I must be getting too flashy Y'all shouldn't have let the world pass me It's too late cause I'm here to stay And these girls know that I'm nasty I sent her back to her boyfriend With my handprint on her ass sheet City talking, we taking notes Tell him all to keep making posts Wish he could, but he can't get close OG so proud of me that he choking up While he making toast I'm the type that you can't control Said I would, then I made it so I don't clear up rumors Where's y'all sense of humor? I'm done making jokes Cause they got old like baby boomers Turn my haters to consumers I make vets feel like they juniors Say your time is coming soon But just like Oklahoma Mine is coming sooner I'm just a late bloomer I'm still out here getting cuter All these social networks and computers Got these walking around like damn losers I told you long ago on the road I got what they waiting for Don't oh, run from nothing, dog. Get your soul, just tell them Yesterday we left, then we went down. Oh, we went bowling. I think I took some videos for y'all. <laughs> so after we went bowling and I sucked, we went to the oceanfront to go eat. And then we came home. It's been a long day already, you guys, because today I'm having a cookout. Out. I'm having a cookout at the house. With just some of our friends and, and when i say some i mean me and my boyfriend and because we kind of like you know after you've been with somebody for so long it's like your friend their friends become cool with you you know what i'm saying so yeah so anyway that's what i've been doing all day trying to prep for that right now it's five something and um I'm about to hurry up and do my makeup because usually whenever I have something at the house, y'all, I never do anything 
to my face, to me, to nothing because I be rushing. So, okay, I told everybody a time of six. So that means I ain't got to rush. It'll be later in the day, which even though I do still feel like six was a good time to choose, somehow, some way, I'm still rushing. So right now I've been cooking. What's left to do is the macaroni, which that's on right now, and the chicken. But I kind of didn't want to like cook the meats too early because you know how people are with running late and they might not come when an event first start. And I didn't get the things to like uh, keep the food hot. So I was like, it's cool, but I need to go ahead and get ready though. And then I'm gonna just wear an apron. Um, but y'all, this I have been enjoying my birthday so much. I'm just so grateful for everybody that showed up to come celebrate with me. You know what I'm saying? Because I never really had like a core group of, of friends. <laughs> it's like, you know, cause people are weird. I must say that all of my friends are really my friends, you know, like I don't have anybody around me that I feel like it's iffy. And for the first time, that feels amazing. It really does. And I never celebrate my birthday local ever. I always go somewhere and it's usually always me and my boyfriend. So this is the first time that I actually celebrated with others. And it was easier to celebrate with others this time because everybody lives here. You know how it is when, if you invite everybody for on a group trip, trust and believe by the time the group trip come, it's going to be about two of y'all. So, so the taco festival was cool. The weather, I, I was skeptical about the weather at first because I was like, man, it's raining. But I'm, oh, y'all, my back hurt. I've been standing up all day. But I'm glad that it rained because that cooled the temperature down because the little bit of time that the heat was i mean the sun was poking out y'all it was hot so i'm glad that it rained and i'm glad that it was like kind of cloudy majority of the day and i'm gonna try to show y'all as much footage as possible but i'm gonna be enjoying myself y'all you know we start getting on the drinks <laughs>
tragedy. Come on, give me something. Come on. Come on. Stop, girl. He ain't saying nothing. He fought. He fought for freedom. He fought for freedom. Martin King. No, got. Oh my God. That's a bad guy. Yes, sir. Let's go, baby. Okay. Boom. That nigga say when they they think they can play basketball, they what? The shit. The one. They what? Um, I'm. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. What you call a caring person? Dominant. We call a caring person. A person that cares for you, what you do, that blog, they did a nice gesture. Oh, I know. It was D nice. 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 Oh, but no, but did you say something? Did you say something? Yeah, they said no. that. No, I said, I said, I said, nice. I didn't say nothing. Oh, yeah. So that means we could have snatched the car. We could have. So we could have went. We did. We did. We could have snatched the car. But he showed us the car. But he already said the word. He said the word. He said the answer. So that means we get a good look. We're not really. 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 <laughs> we got killed. We got killed. I can't say that word. Can't say that word. Lauren London. Oh, yeah. Damn. He didn't say none of the keywords. We got killed. We got killed.
Second part of the movie. Oh, oh, no, 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 but, no. But, 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 you gotta say, you gotta say his character name. Black Panther. His character name. <laughs>